Hello there. What's up, everyone? Leap Dog C.O.D.C. and the awesome Homer here to uh, do a juice review for you guys. Oh, the camera's kind of top side of the best because I can't find the tripod. We'll fix that in the next episode. <clears throat> so we are vaping on today is, uh, I had my shirt somewhere, but the Hive. The Hive's got some pretty good juice. We hung out with them, uh, or I hung out with them uh, for quite a while at Vape Blast, just chatting, whatever, and they gave us the whole line. So we're going to review the whole line. There's only four juices, and right now we are vaping on Caramel Graham Cookie. It's pretty and good. My thoughts on it are the caramel's a nice little aftertone. It seems to be where you can taste the caramel more when it comes on the exhale, but you taste that graham cracker on the inhale. And I actually kind of like that because it just kind of like switches flavors on you from inhale to exhale. And it goes great with this Blue Moon Summer Honey Wheat. They're, they're 90 10 lines, so they make really great clouds. And the flavor, it's not too overwhelming, it's not too overpowered, but it's not too light. So it's definitely a great all day vape. I mean, I could sit here and vape it all day. And it's not that sweet if you guys are complaining about too sweet of a vape juice. And that's where we go to our next one because a lot of people they think uh, and it's actually one of their top sellers. This is actually the juice that got them best in class on one of the uh, vape, vape cons. Uh, is sweet honey, and it's not really sweet. It just tastes like you're you're dripping you're dripping honey straight out of a honey bottle. It really does. Let's give that one a shot. It's not too overpowering. It's at least at least sweet. It's great. Honestly, coconut fluff was my favorite at first, but I started vaping on this uh, sweet honey for a while, and I loved it. It's definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. What about that last one, uh, Carmel Graham? I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. That's what I was thinking, 8 out of 10. Juice is a, like juice, the, the juice game has really been stepping up lately. So. Oh, yeah. Before we were getting, like, what, 4s? out of 10 and whatnot, a 6 out of 10. Now most of the juices are getting like 8, 9, 10s. Pretty high up there. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to tell what's a bad juice anymore. They've got a good label, they've got a nice sturdy bottle. And that, that, it's that made and in the drip. USA. And it's made in USA, yeah. And the drips, our drippers are pretty good too. Pretty high quality drippers there. Well I know that honey flavor by heart right there. Ooh, that honey flavor is real nice. I know that honey flavor by heart. That is that is that is good. But I won't tell anyone secrets. You guys are safe, Hive. Um, it's not real artificially. It actually tastes a lot like real honey. But unlike real honey, you can actually sit there and taste it all day. Whereas real honey just gets real tiring because it's real sweet. This is actually this is actually very lovely mix of honey here. All right, guys, so we were discussing the sweet honey when it cut out because we ran out of video memory and we went through all of them. Uh, but the sweet honey for me was 10 out of 10 and you gave it... I do not remember. I think you gave it like an 8 out of 10. Do you want to try it again? Yeah, let's try it again. We'll try all the flavors again. Uh, Except for the ones that the video caught. Um, the thir third one was coconut fluff, right? Yeah, the third one was coconut fluff. And then it was maple. Yeah. And I really do hate it when I have to do redo a video just because the uh, memory card on the camera dies. But hey, you got to do what you got to do. Back to remembering that taste. <laughs> so that's sweet honey. I know it. We already got a lot of the voice, so all we need is this, the uh, rating on it. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? Yeah. Yeah. And so our next one here is Coconut Fluff. I have that to you for your ready. You 
Now the thing about coconut fluff is I, I, th I do think it's a marshmallow and coconut because it's got a nice flavor to it. And, it. and he was talking how he wanted a coconut flavor, but all the coconut flavors he had tried were he didn't like. Yeah. So he made his own. And this is what he came up with. And really, I gotta say, this is really good. Yeah, I really enjoyed this one. I mean, it's just a, a nice, unique coconut flavor. Yes, it is. I mean, I don't think anyone could, you could find this on anyone else's line. And it's, it's not like an overpowering coconut either. It's like, it's like a nice, sweet, vanilla-ish, marshmallow-like with a lovely blend of coconut that just brings it right together on your palate and you just... Like a nice little hint of coconut. Oh yeah, it's definitely good. One of the best coconuts I've tried. I've tried at least three coconuts now. Yeah. And this tops both the other ones that I've tried. I've tried like 20 and they just, they just taste like... You ever drink like a coconut drink and it's just nasty? Yeah. This is more like a sweet coconut, like a coconut dessert. It's something you would expect to find in like like a coconut like like dessert like cake or something, like a coconut pie or something like that. Like a coconut cookie. Coconut cookie. There you go. Coconut cookie. Really sweet. And I have to give this a 9 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 because coconut is really hard to duplicate. Man, it's good. I, 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 it's, an all, it's something you can vape all day. Yeah. You can just vape this all day and not get tired of it. I'm willing to bet you can go two, maybe three days in a row with just this flavor. I'm willing to bet you can go a week with it. Just this flavor. Just go week, but just this flavor. And I bet you it would taste so great in a tank. It would just have that nice kick with a great coil build and a tank. It would taste really good. Yeah. Alright, so the last one here is uh, butterscotch maple. And this is actually a really impressive one that we tried when the video cut out. But I do enjoy this one. It's it's surprisingly good because butterscotch, as you as you said before, it was is a very as another one of those harder flavors to do. Yes, it is. Too much butterscotch and it tastes like nasty eggnog. Right. And. Uh, That butterscotch pairs so well with the maple that it's just an outstanding flavor. It's not too overwhelming, but it's not as light as the other other flavors. You definitely taste it more than you do the other flavors, but it's not. It's, it's still not overwhelming or overpowering. And it's, it's not like a dead on just straight butterscotch in your face. It's more like a like a light butterscotch. I have to agree with you. It does seem like it has a little bit of that honey in there, too. Yeah. It definitely has that honey in there. So, it's a maple. You can taste that maple. It, it just straight... It tastes point on with the maple that you would get on your pancakes. Maple syrup. That's what it tastes like. But it's not like the overall. This is mapley maple syrup. It's kind of like one of those good maple syrups you find at one of those better restaurants that make their own. You know what I mean? It's like a homemade maple syrup. I and mean, it's delicious. It's got the right amount of sweetness to it. And that butterscotch just pairs with it so well that it just blows you away. Yeah. Not too much butterscotch, though. I have to give this a 10 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10? Yep. Their whole line is definitely a great choice for those who love the sweet flavors, who love the dessert flavors, because 
I can't wait to see what their next flavor will be. If you're kind of wondering what it will be because they have they have a variety here and they're so good and it, you kind of want to know because you know they have to match and keep that as good as the others. If you're a custard guy, I definitely recommend this line. Oh yes. For those of you who like the sweet desserts and the custards, you gotta love this. You're gonna love this. You gotta try it out. And you can try them out. Uh, um, you can get their website. I believe they do do online sales. They're based out of Florida, um, and you can just go to dripthehive.com, dripthehive.com, and uh, they actually have an office number on here too. But I don't think I'm gonna give that one out. Um, so you can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more, and uh, check out my Instagram. I do small 15-second uh, reviews there, and I post a bunch. Then I'll be posting a bunch of stuff vape related there. Check out my Twitter and my Facebook. Follow and like me there. And I guess we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.